From self-driving cars to smart virtual assistants, the rise of artificial intelligence has been remarkable. As technology advances, there's growing concern about the impact of AI on traditional jobs. The rise of robots and automation has led to fears of widespread unemployment and economic disruption. Are robots and artificial intelligence the biggest threat to traditional jobs as we know them? In this video, we explore the impact of AI on the economy and our employment and discuss whether it's a threat or an opportunity for the future of work. AI has emerged as one of the most significant and quickly developing technologies of our day. Thanks to ChatGPT's meteoric rise, it has become the newest hot topic in technology. The Microsoft-backed OpenAI's chatbot use of AI to answer queries, produce articles and even present legal arguments has astounded and impressed users. How we work, live and engage with technology has all changed as a result of AI. But as AI develops further, many are left to wonder how it will affect traditional jobs. Due to its capabilities, people are now more concerned than ever about how, when and if artificial intelligence will affect their careers and jobs. While worries about AI-based technology replacing workers have grown, experts say it's not quite that straightforward. The worry that AI will displace human employees and cause mass unemployment is not new. In actuality, it goes back to the Industrial Revolution, when companies started using machines to replace manual labour. In today's world, AI has the potential to automate a wide range of operations in a variety of sectors, from retail and banking to healthcare and transportation. As a result, it makes sense that many workers are worried about the stability of their jobs and their ability to provide for their families. Despite the worries, experts have differing opinions about how AI will affect the labour market. Some believe it will result in a significant loss of jobs and a move towards a new gig economy, where employees are hired on a freelance or temporary basis. Some claim that the use of AI will open up new career opportunities and jobs in fields like data analysis, machine learning and AI development. Others, on the other hand, think that the impact will fall somewhere in the middle, with AI enhancing rather than displacing human workers. Whatever the precise effects, it's obvious that AI is already having a big impact on the labour market. For instance, virtual assistants and chatbots have already replaced many customer care positions, and drones and autonomous vehicles are about to transform logistics and transportation. Additionally, AI is enabling new business models and procedures that are reshaping a variety of industries, including personalised marketing and predictive maintenance. The most recent generation of artificial intelligence, which includes ChatGPT, could automate up to 300 million full-time jobs globally, according to Goldman Sachs experts. The experts predict that 18% of jobs worldwide may be digitised in their paper, with advanced economies feeling the effects more severely than emerging countries. White-collar workers are anticipated to be more significantly impacted by automation, with administrative personnel and attorneys being the most affected. However, it is anticipated that physically demanding jobs like construction and repair work will have little impact. Around two-thirds of current jobs in the US and Europe are at risk of automation due to AI, and the bank predicts that eventually up to a quarter of all work may be performed entirely by AI. The experts caution that if generative AI fulfills its potential, the job sector may see considerable disruption. The phrase alludes to the technology that powers ChatGPT, the chatbot phenomenon that's sweeping the globe. The effects of AI on the labour market has been strongly discussed subject in recent years. On the one hand, some people contend that AI will eliminate human occupations, while others assert that AI would lead to the creation of new positions. Robots and automation systems have replaced 1.7 million manufacturing jobs in the last 20 years, but by 2025, it is expected that AI will generate 97 million new jobs. Nevertheless, AI will continue to displace some jobs in a range of sectors, including healthcare, agriculture and industrial ones. In the next 5 to 10 years, several occupations, including insurance underwriting, manufacturing, warehouse work, customer service, research and data input, and long-haul haulage, among others, could be completely automated. According to the Future of Jobs Report 2020 by the World Economic Forum, AI is expected to eliminate 85 million jobs globally by 2025, while also creating 97 million new ones. However, some experts predict that within 15 years, AI could automate 50% of all jobs, including those once held by farmers during the Industrial Revolutions, as well as accountants, factory workers, truckers, paralegals and radiologists. Both people with specialised training and blue-collar jobs are projected to be impacted by AI. 
For instance, generative AI tools like ChatGPT and Bard have sparked debate over whether writing-intensive employment would be replaced by AI. Even though AI might not be able to match human creativity, it's already being used as a source of inspiration for writers and as a helper for repetitive content creation. An initial draft produced by AI is then edited by a human. Work worth hundreds of thousands of dollars has already been produced by AI-generated art and design, and AI art generators like Midjourney and Dali are becoming more popular. As these tools become more sophisticated and can adhere to specific design instructions, AI-generated art and design may have an impact on the graphic design and commercial art fields. There are numerous views regarding how AI will alter the nature of labour in the future. Others see AI-generated art as a tool, while some see it as a threat. Many people think that AI will never become as well-known as some human artists. And there's no question that AI will drastically change the way we work and generate jobs that have never existed before, even while its effect on the employment market is unpredictable. The TUC is advocating for stricter regulations to safeguard workers from judgments made by AI systems. According to the organization that represents unions, AI-powered systems are making high-risk, life-changing decisions that have an impact on the lives of workers, such as line managing, hiring and terminating people. The TUC has expressed worry that a new law will dilute current safeguards. The administration, however, refutes this assertion and maintains that protections will be maintained. A spokeswoman reiterated the government's dedication to enhancing and maintaining workers' rights while ensuring that AI is utilised sensibly and safely in commercial contexts. A subfield of computer science called artificial intelligence creates tools and programs that can carry out operations like speech recognition and decision-making that ordinarily require human involvement. Researchers have expressed worries regarding the use of AI in the workplace, particularly concerning recruitment tools that assess a candidate's fitness for a position using speech and video. The TUC draws attention to the fact that AI is being used to evaluate candidates for jobs by analysing their accents, tone of voice and facial expressions, which could easily result in workplace discrimination. Tools that analyse facial expressions, for instance, may disadvantage candidates or workers with particular disabilities. The TUC demands that businesses disclose how AI makes choices regarding employees and that all decisions be subject to human scrutiny so that employees may object. The measure maintains the protections that UK workers now have while allowing companies more freedom, the government claims, and its revisions do not affect workers' rights to request a human review of significant, wholly automated decisions. However, other organisations, like Connected by Data, have criticised the bill, claiming that it restricts employees' access to the information that is held about them or their ability to object to how it's used, which may endanger their ability to make a living. The TUC's proposal is supported by Angela Rayner, the Deputy Leader of Labour and Shadow Secretary of State for the Future of Work, who claims that AI is already changing the economy and that workers need to have a voice in how new technologies are applied. Labour will modernise employment rights and protections to meet the contemporary economy, she continues. AI won't ever be able to take the place of creative, compassionate, complex, political and strategic roles. Some of the fields that will still require human labourers are writing, social work, criminal defence law, teaching and AI training engineering. The empathy and social intelligence needed for these positions cannot be replaced by AI, even though it may support these fields in the future. Although AI can assist educators in better understanding students' aptitude and temperament, teachers will still provide mentoring based on students' unique interests. Similarly to this, while AI content generators can help with writing tasks, they still have restrictions regarding the accuracy and false information, making it unlikely they will ever completely replace human authors. Lee asserts that four fundamental AI flaws will prevent it from replacing particular occupations. Intricate strategic planning, deft hand-eye coordination, navigating uncharted territory and empathy. To adapt to a world where AI is more prevalent, there will also be a demand for human workers. As technology expands in scope, more people will be needed to create and use it. Contractors, plumbers, electricians and window installers are just a few examples of jobs that require a human touch and will always be in high demand. Dan Platt, a senior partner of market innovation at the AI firm Narrative Science, underlined the importance of interpersonal interactions in the workplace. Despite the potential benefits of AI for many industries, some jobs still require humans. While the rise of AI and automation may pose a threat to certain jobs, there will always be a demand for human skills and expertise that machines can't replicate. 
What are your thoughts on the impact of automation and AI on the job market? Do you think robots will eventually take over all jobs? Or do you believe there will always be a need for human workers in certain industries? Share your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking content on the future of work.